Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. Now we're looking at the week of February the 21st to the 27th, 2022. For all star signs, I've already started recording a lot of individual tracks. So in March, there will be um, individual clips for each star sign. They are a little longer than um, the ones I'm doing this month, so to speak, right? <clears throat> so yeah, let's get this, let's get this going. <coughs> Excuse me. You're probably wondering why I look so scruffy. Well, <clears throat> I used to dye my hair and I've been doing this for about 30 years. Now lately, um, I have stopped dyeing my hair and now I have to wait until all the old colors go out. And what happens is I'm turning sort of grayish, but I can't figure out what my color is. How gray am I? So I have decided to actually grow a beard and then I thought maybe I should have a proper beard and then I'm swaying right so to beard or not to beard is the question <laughs> while I'm undecided while I'm letting this thing grow um, I might look like I haven't slept in ages <clears throat> but it's literally just to find out um, how gray I actually am <laughs> anyway so, um, so much for the weird part. Anyway, so we are in the star sign of Pisces, which is the first star sign we will um, look at this very week. Like I said, we're looking at the week of February the 21st to the 27th, 2022. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. If you like my work, you can now uh, support me by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas please like subscribe and share help me to grow the channel pisces let's have a look at um what the guys have for you for the week of february the 21st to the 27th <coughs> of 2022 Always interested in Pisces, uh, in Pisces because I'm a Pisces myself. <laughs> so, we have the parrot and the crocodile as the animal guides for this week. Right? What the guides are saying to us, it's really, really important in the last week of February and the first week of being actually in the sign of Pisces. Now, Pisces is governed by Neptune. Neptune's only job is, literally, to bring deep spiritual, aware, spiritual awareness to us, if that makes sense. So therefore, um, every star sign, each star sign is literally asked, while we're in Pisces, <coughs> to trust your intuition, to look at your intuition. And it goes hand in hand with being a Pisces, because our messages are to not overly express ourselves, if that makes sense, um, because a lot of people at this point in time are trying to find themselves <coughs> and they're unsure whether or not they go, they should go into their softness or not. You notice this, that last week there was a lot of judgment and that oftentimes happens because people can feel and sense there's a change in energy and especially people that are a bit insecure can be quite afraid to go into their softer side, if that makes sense, and they then become a bit nasty. So if you had to deal with people <clears throat> that were a bit nasty last week, send them healing because they truly need it. Anyway, we have the parrot and the, and the crocodile. So for Pisceans, what they're saying is, it is pointless repeating yourself numerous times. It's not that nobody gives a, gives a damn, it's just more like they don't necessarily want to understand you, if that makes sense. So, so um, even if you want to fix something, right, which is the idea, when you say, like, okay, let's, let's talk about this, you might not get all that far this very week. Okie dokie. And then we have the crocodile. And the crocodile is saying to you, I'm a crocodile. In the millions of years that I have been here, I didn't have to change once. <clears throat> so it is a reminder to us Pisceans to really give ourselves a pep talk and say like, you know what, I'm actually good the way I am and I'm stitched up of flaws, right? But they're stitched together lovingly. I am a good person, right? So um, Pisces, repeat after me, 
I am a good person. I am a good person. Or do what I do. I'm awesome. It does help. Anyway, <clears throat> that was the first star sign. Pisces, we're now going into the next star sign, which is Aries. We're looking at the week of February the 21st to the 27th, 2022. You are watching Thomas's Tower page. Please like, subscribe and share. <coughs> Aries, we have the cow and the deer for you. Both the cow and the deer are animals that do not deal super well with stress, right? So the cow is saying to you, the cow is also known as the Übermutter, right? So the, uh, again, we're in Pisces now and, and um, or this is the first week of, of Pisces, the star sign of Pisces being the dominant energy. And so for Aries, um, what they're saying to you is see things from the purest possible angle that you can look at stuff, right? See and look for the truth, if that makes sense, right? But also remember that this is going to be a week for you, Aries, um, where you need to actually not only pace yourself, right, but also to truly rest, because you have the cow, which is the Übermother, right? The one that wants to please, the one that wants to make sure everything works, everybody's happy, right? Um, and because that is exerting a lot of energy, you will feel very drained. And Aries, by default, as a sign, you do have that tendency <coughs> to overly give, simply because you're the first star sign in the zodiac wheel. And then they have the deer for you. And the deer is basically saying, well, you know, I work best at sunrise and sunset. All the times in between, you know, anyone comes close to me, I get spooked. <laughs> Sounds a bit easy. The point the guides are making is, make no mistakes about it. You have a very good understanding of what your intuition is like. And because you have an instinctive, instinctual energy um, to yourself, what the guides are saying is, use it. Look at anything that happens to you this week from an emotional point of view, which is also very Piscean, right? We're in that energy. And they're asking you to actually look at things, again, very deer and, and cow. Uh, if possible, try to look at things detached so you can get a better sense of regenerating um, <clears throat> your energy, which is really much needed for Aries, apparently, this very week. Aries, that was that. Going to the next star sign of Taurus, we are looking at the week of February the 21st to the 27th uh, of February 2022. We're looking at the star sign of Taurus. <coughs> Taurians, you have the goat and the swan. So what they're saying to you is, don't worry, really, really important, because um, the goat will get up on the hill, it's just a matter of time. So what they're saying is, you know, um, you're making a lot of progress, you're going in the right direction, right? And the other important thing is, which is the swan for you, while you keep going, look at your strengths. Don't look at anything that could go wrong. It is so easy to say like, oh, I'm not sure I can do this, and I get it, right? I'm not knocking it, but it is not helpful at all. Doubt is not helpful whatsoever. <clears throat> and what they're saying to you is, right, um, <clears throat> you're making progress. You are going towards something that can only get easier, right? But the point is, because you have the sworn as the outgoing energy, Torians, please understand that no matter what you do, you are going through transformation as time goes on, so you will have, a t have to adapt to situations. If there aren't things you don't know, you will know eventually, right? <clears throat> so don't think you have to be perfect all the time. And remember, you don't have to prove anything to anyone, right? So have a bit of, sounds weird, have a bit of self-esteem, right? Allow yourself to say, yeah, you know, I've got, I've got this far in life. Why wouldn't I manage this? Because your incoming energy of the goat is saying like, right, you're going, you're making progress, things are getting better. So don't diminish um, any successes um, by thinking or talking badly about yourself. That was Torians. <clears throat> Looking at the next star sign of Gemini. Here we go. Geminis. You have the owl and the coyote. 
Now look at this. The Arun Coyote are saying to Gemini this week, wherever possible, wherever possible, mm, it is not, I was looking or hoping I get the word detach yourself, but I'm not getting this. I get the word remove yourself, which is a step further. <coughs> what they're saying is right now, reflect on anything or whatever is really not working. Be truthful, right? The way I feel this is for, for Gemini is to understand, you know, if you are trying to save situations, solve situations, that you have tried to somehow salvage for a long time, you have to um, acknowledge when things aren't really getting any better, right? So that's what they're saying to you. And um, could be work, could be relationships, but the point they're making is you will know um, where you have already tried more than enough <clears throat> and then just, you know, allow yourself to understand, okay, right, I'm moving away from this. Because you have the coyote, which is not a really important animal, and because it is your outgoing energy, it's the energy that stays with you this week. <clears throat> so what they're saying is, if you manage to remove yourself slowly from things, the coyote is a scavenger. And the coyote knows, no matter where I go, right, because I follow my nose, <laughs> there will be good fortune for me to find, there will be good fortune, there will also be food. So while you're removing yourself from stuff that isn't working, and while this is painful, or might be painful, or will be painful likely, <coughs> They're asking you not to allow yourself to feel trapped. Don't make anything about finances because you can't money. You can't manifest money. It's not a spiritual currency. Just so, just realize this isn't quite working, and therefore my next step has to be to move away. Then say to the universe, "Okay, we're moving away. Help." That is the easiest way to ask the universe for help. <clears throat> is to literally tell them that you're convinced that uh, you know you're moving, and so you will be moving, right? Um, the universe likes it when you are direct because once you're in doubt <clears throat> and once you manifest that you can't move because of money for instance then that's what you're manifesting right if you say I can't move that's all the universe needs to hear for you to just sit there and go well you have free will if you think you can't move we can't prove you differently you understand that really 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 important for Gemini to understand that you are in charge of your manifestations and your creations, okay? <clears throat> but please remember this. You have the coyote as the outgoing energy. While you're starting to remove yourself from things, um, you can only go to better places, okay? <clears throat> Gemini, that was that. Going to the next star sign, which is the sign of Cancer. Let's have a look what we got for Cancerians for the week of February, the 21st to the 27th, 2022. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Yonak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my, my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Cancerians, let's have a closer look at you. You got the monkey and the seagull. Quite simple quite straightforward and quite direct actually the monkey is saying why are you living in the past right don't go back into the past do not go back into the past so <clears throat> and it also means don't don't go okay there's a couple of things here that i'm getting <coughs> when they're saying this don't go back into the past that's not quite the way i feel this all they're saying is if you look at anything in the past and you have changed, or the situation has changed, why associate whatever happened in the past with that person or with that situation, right? So if you, if there are and have been true changes, <coughs> don't go back into what, what wasn't working when you know it could work this time around. So that's the first thing I'm getting. And then the other thing is <coughs> that it makes much more sense for Cancerians at this point in, time, point in time anyway to really focus on your now and your immediate future because that's truly all you got you got the seagull and the seagull is saying mate you need a bit of a plan right plan out <clears throat> where you want to go but focus on yourself how do i truly feel and then literally 
right? Look at, okay, this is where I am in life. This is what happened to me in life, right? La, la, la. <coughs> now it is time. I'm, I wouldn't say, I, I'm not getting the term to start over. <coughs> I'm just getting to refocus, to redirect your efforts into the now. What does work into the now? What would I need to make things work in the now? And then focus on that. Okay, Cancerians, that was that. Going to the next star sign, which is Leo. Leos, we are looking at the week of February the 21st to the 27th, 2022. Here we go. You have the Timber Wolf and the Snowy Owl. Leos. <laughs> it, it makes me chuckle, even though it is not really funny. It makes me chuckle because both the Timber Wolf and the Snowy Owl sometimes just look at the world going like, what the fuck? <laughs> right? <coughs> so <coughs> they are not in charge of, of, of their surroundings. Nobody is, right? So we're, we're born in a certain place. Of course, you can move. There's changes you can make. But if you are the snowy owl and you live in the Arctic or you live in, in areas where, where there's a lot of snow, there will always be less opportunities for you. Right? And so what they're saying is sometimes they, 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 they go like, okay, <laughs> right? Um, and that's what, that's what they give me for Leo, right? Where, they, where you sometimes have days where you're kind of like, why me? Can someone please shoot me now? That kind of stuff where you kind of, it's not a bad thing. You're using humor in a way just to get through stuff. And that's all very well, but the guides are saying to you this week, because you have the timber wolf as the incoming energy, right? Look at your life. And while it is true that there are certain things you cannot control, right? <coughs> Nonetheless, be in charge of your affairs, right? Run your life as best you can, but run it. Don't let anyone else run your life for you or on your behalf. Because you have the snowy owl as the outgoing energy, they're asking you to understand things will take more time before you actually see where this is going and whether or not you made the right choices, if that makes sense. And if you're a person <coughs> that is waiting for help to be given, this is what I'm getting, that could be official help, you know, you know, some, some government still owes you some uh, money from the NHS or something like this, right? So uh, something that you wait on. <coughs> it's not quite ready this week, right? But because you have the timber wolf, maybe you should call him, right? Be a bit of a wolf, be a bit awkward um, to make sure that your case is actually worked, worked at, right? Worked on. Leos, that was that. Short and sweet for Leos. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is the sign of Virgo. <coughs> <laughs> Virgos, you have the drum and the beaver. Make some noise, right? You, 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 the energy that you have, because you have the, the drum is the incoming energy. What they're saying is, you know, cleanse your, cleanse your space, make sure the energy gets higher. But what I'm getting with you is to actually do this loudly, right? They're not asking you to remove yourself, go into the woods and scream your head off. <coughs> and while they're not asking you to scream your head off at people, necessarily, what they're saying is, Cleanse your space, speak your truth, because the animal that you have as the outgoing energy, the one that stays with you, energetically speaking, for the week, is the beaver. And the beaver is the builder of bridges. So what they're saying to you is, you're not about to leave necessarily, right? You just want things to work. And if you let people know, which is the impo really important part here for Virgos, <coughs> that things have to run the way you feel they should be run, right? Make make a statement. Make your make your statements, right, about how you want life to 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 proceed, so the other parties can actually understand what your objections are. Because you have the beaver, the builder of bridges, you can be an asset to anyone who is with you, right? And they should actually understand that. Okay, that was Virgo. Going to the next star sign, which is the sign of Libra. Now, you're watching Thomas's tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. We're looking at the week of February the 21st to the 27th, 2022. Please like, subscribe and share. Libra. 
תזכרו. ליפרה, ליפרנס, you have the, the wolf and the bear. What they're saying to you this very week, and it is overlapping because we just had similar things for, 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 for Virgo, <coughs> be in charge, right? Make sure people know how you wish to be treated, right? Because you have the, you have the wolf. Really, really important to understand that. Unless you feel part of something, right? <clears throat> you feel less complete. And if you are part of something that doesn't treat you right, right? Tell them, if that makes sense. The wolf is not the kind of animal guide that kicks someone in the balls just because they deserve it, right? So they're asking you to also... Um, Watch your frustration levels, right? And don't lose your cool. <coughs> Just understand that. But it is really, really important for, for Librans to be really in charge of your life this very week because your next animal, the outgoing energy, so to speak, that stays with you is the bear. And the bear is all about deep healing. So you are already more than affected by... Being with people, being in places where you're not really feeling super welcome, where you're not feeling appreciated properly, if that makes sense, right? And while this is a general reading and it may not, you know, resonate with all of you and um, it might also not be the main bulk of your experiences during a week, right? What the guides want you to understand this week is the moment you feel... I'm not part of this, I'm not appreciated, you actually do suffer. And all they're saying is, then put a stop to it and let people know that there has to be changes. Right? Okie dokie, that was Libra. <clears throat> now we're going into Scorpio, then we have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn and Aquarius left. Still quite a bit <coughs> to go. Now we are in Scorpio. Let's have a look what we got for Scorpions. All right, Scorpions. <coughs> Scorpios, you have the, the panther, can't pronounce the H, panther, and the horse. Both animals really denote that there's a part of you this very week, 21st to the 27th of February 2022. You feel like hiding, you feel like enough is enough. I need a break, right? And what the universe is asking you to do is to actually acknowledge that you need a break. Because as you need a break, unless you, <clears throat> you remove yourself from all your duties, you actually could break simply because it gets too much, right? Your outgoing energy here is the horse. And the horse is saying to you, I'm all about freedom, right? And every now and then, right, while I'm not running away i need a lot of space right and that's important that's what they're saying to you is right um literally take some time out tell people to piss off <laughs> right <clears throat> sorry that's the way i'm getting it <coughs> piss off that's what i'm getting for <coughs> for um scorpio so there's a bit of frustration here already and um yeah then take take time to break away from it all Right? to refocus on how you want your life to be. It's important because Scorpio is a sign. Um, when things get not or haven't been dealt with for a long time and you can no longer stand tall <clears throat> because things are just not progressing, progressive, progressing when you're louder, what will happen is <coughs> you turn into the slower kind of scorpion. Now, the larger the scorpion, the less venom it needs. When you turn into the frustrated, smaller scorpion, right, which is your depiction, Scorpio, um, your pincers are not as large, but your venom is much stronger. So all they're saying is, don't wait 
until you deflate it, and then the only way forward is through them, <laughs> right? That's why they're saying to you is make no mistakes about it, right? Um, <clears throat> it is time for you to take a break from anything that really is going on and that is just too much for you, okay? <coughs> that was uh, Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Sagittarians, there is always confusion around Sagittarius when it comes to how to deal with situations because obviously you are depicted as the archer. What you really are depicted at is um, the centaur. Um, and the centaur uh, was a really wise teacher. Anyway, even gods make mistakes apparently. Zeus said to the archer, shall we go hunting a little bit? He said, yeah, sure, fucking awesome. And guess what happened? Zeus accidentally killed the archer. And then, to honor the archer, right, they looked at your constellation. Said, oh, okay, yeah, okay. So in honor of the hunter, the archer, the centaur, um, we now christen you Sagittarius. <laughs> right? <coughs> so <coughs> as an energy, you may find it difficult to actually trust people because even people that love you deeply can all of a sudden hurt you even if they have no intention to, right? If that makes sense. So a um, bit of a weird thing, um, but that is important. And what you have here, you have the eagle. Let me just, yeah. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, yeah, you got the eagle. And you got the snake. So what they're saying to you is, this is a week for Sagittarians to understand that what you need is to break away from things and look at your healing. You have the eagle. The eagle is saying, not much can happen to me. I'm a really uh, a great bird. I'm a great uh, predator at that. And so what they're saying to you is, um, <clears throat> not much can happen to you when you actually say, like, you know what, I'm focusing on myself. You know, what they're going to do. <clears throat> because you have the snake as the outgoing energy. And the snake, given the option, the snake will not attack you. The snake will literally find a way through given the option right snakes have no frontal lobe so they're not getting super angry but they they're giving you warnings a couple of times if you then keep that shit up they go for you right if that makes sense um that also makes them hard to read and because this is your depiction here <clears throat> for this week um what they're saying is um some people might not understand or really or really know how much their actions actually annoy you, right? And how much their actions actually um, make you feel tired, right? And so the snake is, is when you go to the pharmacy, you see snake around the cane, right? And so <coughs> the snake is all about healing. And that's what they're asking you to do, right? Remember, if you step back a little, right? People just have to take that, right? Um, <coughs> and if not, it's not your business. But take time out wherever possible to actually <coughs> really, really look at, at um, shedding your skin, um, letting stuff go that isn't for you any longer, right? And, and get some healing in, right? Seems to be the week for it because we have that, that whole thing about healing uh, quite overlapping. Anyway, that was Sagittarius. Now looking at the next star sign, which is Capricorn. Capricorns, we're looking at the week of February the 21st to the 27th, 2022. You're watching Thomas's Tower page with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So we only have Capricorn and Aquarius left. Let's have a look at Capricorn. All right, <clears throat> Capricorns, <coughs> you have, as your outgoing energy, the one that stays with you, you have the totem. So the totem is, is basically a word for, for family, it is also work, a word for ancestry. Now, when it comes to ancestral healing, in Native American lore, 
you are responsible for seven generations. You come here and then whatever happened in the last seven generations that hasn't been dealt with lands on your plate. If you mess up this lifetime, right, it lands up on the plate on the plate of the seven generations following yours, right? So what I'm getting is really, really important for you to understand this. <coughs> They're asking you to look at family, flesh and blood that is, this week. <coughs> and look at what must I do to feel welcome here, which is a bit strange. And also very specific. That's why I'm always saying, remember, this is, is, this is a, a general reading, so I know this doesn't resonate with all of you, but because the guide's making it personal, I'm sure one of you can relate that things with family members um, are difficult, Capricorns. Because your incoming energy is the seahorse. And the seahorse is a very <laughs> cute little being, right? that at times <clears throat> is misunderstood because people don't necessarily look at, at sea horses, don't research them well. It is known that they're very sensitive because there was a statistic a couple of years ago when I still worked, um, I had an animal, animal rights show, slash world, slash world conservation show called Wild Time <clears throat> that ran for eight years. And... Um, I remember talking to someone about seahorses and they were literally saying to me that 90% of seahorses do not make it in captivity. And that stuck with me. And that is here now as a, a phrase. So all they're saying is when it comes to family, if you feel I have a really difficult family that I chose to be born into, right? You're probably right. right? And because 90% of seahorses, that is your representation for this topic family <clears throat> don't make it in captivity what they're saying is you would probably do very well removing yourself a little bit from the influences that family members have or have had on you okay capricorns <coughs> that's all i got i understand that this is a, a, a quite a specific message so please understand that that this is a, this is a general reading and i get it it doesn't um resonate with all of you right i still hope i see you next week <laughs> here we go last star sign for the day is aquarius okay let's have a look <coughs> at aquarius we're looking at the week of february the 21st to the 27th 2022 you're watching thomas's tarot page with myself thomas Janak. please like subscribe and share aquarians you have the ram can't pronounce it the ram and the bull both animals have antlers And antlers mean protection. <coughs> the ram has the antlers around the ear. So the first thing that, they, that they're saying to you is, this week, 21st to 27th of February 2022, for the sign of Aquarius, listen to how people speak. You understand what they're saying easily, but listen to how they, how they communicate and how they speak. <laughs> okay. That's just what I'm getting here. How bitchy are they? And if they're bitchy around you, don't you think they will be bitchy behind your back? <coughs> so pay attention to how people speak. And also what people speak about. right? So that's important for you to just... Uh, again, it's about detachment, which, is, which seems to be the week, the, 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 the theme of the week for, for all of the star signs that we had so far. Please remember this. Pay attention to how people speak because your outgoing energy, the energy that stays with you for the entirety of the week is the bull. And the bull is saying, I have no problems using my antlers on you, dimwit, right? F off. So <laughs> what I'm getting is that the bull is always saying, you know, you come into my territory, right? I didn't ask you here. Don't expect me to not charge you. Right? In short, what they're saying is, there's a good chance when people are invading your space and you know <clears throat> that their energy isn't great and you can hear the way they speak about things and talk about things, that their energy isn't great. Eventually, your space will feel so invaded that you will turn nasty. Right? 
which is not a very Aquarius thing to be. But what I'm getting for Aquarius is that <laughs> um, you sometimes do not quite understand constructive criticism, right? So there are days where you kind of go like, where you're not taking any criticism. <clears throat> so make sure you're, 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 you're aware that there are parts of you that um, can be a bit stubborn at times and feel like personally offended um, and people don't mean it necessarily. They just have a different opinion, right? But this is not what they... So this is a different thing for Aquarians here, but this is also not what they're talking about. What they're talking about here, in your case, is to literally pay attention to how are people talking, what vibes do I get from them, and how do they actually speak about whatever is happening in their lives, right? <clears throat> Guys, that's all we have. You are watching Thomas's tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And um, yeah, I see you all in March. And in March, we will go back to um, individual uh, videos. So instead of recording <clears throat> a video for all star signs each week, um, I will give you longer videos for each individual star sign that cover the whole month of March. Radio, see you soon. Bye-bye.